So, you ready to go for a ride? All right. Where do you want to go? I think we'll go to a place we've been to before, Nala. And that would be Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. I've been out there one time. And I've flown out there one time. That was one of my first flights, actually, with my uh, DJI Mini. My Mini 1, I think. All right, let's see if we can get these goggles on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I messed up. Okay, we'll try this. Okay, we've got to... Uh, Call for you an appointment. You need your hair cut. So, uh, I got this microphone. This is an old microphone. I had it in my junk drawer. And I, I could never figure out how to, how to keep it on my head. It always kept falling off my ear. So I think I, I, think I got that part figured out. And I got it hooked up to uh, the GoPro camera back there. That's shooting Nala. And hopefully we'll have a, some good some good uh, narration from this video. It's a nice day out today. You know, it's it's um, I, I heard him talking about it on the weather. We got you know, it's probably cloudy skies, but the sunny part is not really sunny because of the smoke that's in the atmosphere today. They were talking about I guess the fires up in Canada. Did you hear about hear about those? So this is Highway 21 North, uh, coming into DeSoto. Actually, we're in the DeSoto city limits right now. So we'll go through DeSoto and up to Hillsboro. And we'll stay on Old Highway 21 and go to uh, Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. It's really a pretty place. Uh, Nala likes likes it there. She likes getting in the water. So hopefully it won't be too crowded. I'll be able to fly the drone. Get a little drone footage. Show you all what it looks like. So yeah. Again, this is my first time using this microphone in a long time uh, because I didn't have a way to—I didn't have an easy way to hook it up to a recorder. I used all kinds of recorders. The last recorder I had was a little digital recorder, and it crapped out of me. I don't know why it stopped working. So anyway, I decided, well, I'm going to hook this camera up in the back. We'll call that the Nala Cam. And then I, then I realized, you know, I, I could go ahead and, and, and put a battery back here and, uh, and mount a camera, mount a GoPro right there on the back of my uh, uh, 
backrest and uh, shoot shoot now and then hook my microphone directly up to that so if my uh, if my camera's still working and it looks like it is we should have good audio I need to turn off my flashers. There. Flashers off. The guy behind me is probably like, oh, what the hell are you doing, man? Turn your flashers off. All right, so, yeah, this is a, uh, this is 21 North, coming out of DeSoto. We got our Hardys here. You know, I ate, I stopped there last night for the first time in a long time. I ate at Hardy's. I got a burger. Or I got a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. It was pretty good, actually. Um, I would rather have gone to Dairy Queen. I like I like eating at Dairy Queen. I mean, they make pretty good burgers. I actually pulled into to, uh, McDonald's, and I thought maybe I'd get a Happy Meal, but you know, I couldn't just see. I couldn't see waiting in line that long for a Happy Meal. So I ended up going to Hardee's. Dairy Queen was already closed. I guess they closed at nine o'clock, 8.30, eight o'clock, I don't know. They're, they're sure not in it, in it for the money, that's for sure. Sonic, we got a Sonic up here, right off to the right. I can't stand Sonic. I have never eaten in Sonic. I did pull in Taco Bell. I thought, well, maybe I'll get some tacos. And it was like really late, you know, and it's like, no, I'm, all I'm gonna get is leftover meat. So, I probably should go shopping and get some groceries. I think payday was yesterday. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make a bike payment. So, you all remind me, uh, when you watch this video, ask me, hey, did you make a bike payment? So I don't know how good you can hear me. I, I, I have a good feeling about this connection. And if not, I'll just throw some music on over it and uh, we'll see what happens. But I may have to anyway, as, I, as I'm uh, getting a little speed up here. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I hope it goes really well because I really wanna do vlogging. I mean, Harley Vlogger, the second half of that name is, you know, it, it kinda means that you actually talk. You actually talk about things, but I've always had two problems with vlogging on a motorcycle. One, I can never get the right hookup. I can never get a good, decent microphone. I can never get a decent recording. Um, every time I relied on these freaking GoPros, they failed on me like they have today already. But again, I think, I think maybe, I think maybe, maybe that was a bad wire. I was supposed to remove this before flight, and I forgot to do that. I'll, I'll tuck it up under here and see if uh, if it'll stay there. You doing okay, Nala? Good girl. You being a good girl. Nala likes to ride. Nala's been riding with me for a good five years, I guess. We we had about thirty-seven thousand miles on that on that Honda Shadow before we traded it in for this this Harley. And uh, she had a lot of miles on that bike. And well, like I said, we've gone through two bags. This is her second bag. And uh, I gotta get a new one. I really like this, uh, this hill adjust, or this hill, ass hill, hill assist on the, on the Harley. Cause you can just, you know, you don't have to worry about it. On a hill, you just give it, give it the old break, and it holds itself. Then you just take off whenever you're ready to go. So I might have to put some music on here. I don't know. Anytime I put music on, why don't I hear that? I should hear music. Without you, God, 
Okay, the radio's working. Why don't we flip the format of Casey to chest power battle? All day long, we played the same 10 in a row. Testicle tickler. It's T-T-T-T. Casey 95, the testicle tickler. No, sorry, it was the scrotum tickler. The scrotum tickler, yeah. Casey 95, hello. What about Pat by Kim? See, but here's the thing with Beth. My friend texted me the same thing. Yeah. Beth is not, so, in that, not what we're talking about. The weather guys, the the weather guys were saying that. Uh, that's an old song. It's a great song, and it fits into a ballad. The, the sun, we so should have Carly Cloudy ballad, Skies. Which that list initially was, that doesn't count now. If you played for And probably Sunny games, Skies, and the sunny part have, is hazy. Because that was early because of all the, time, all the a, uh, a song written by Michael Bolt. It wasn't really. All of the all, all of the all of the fires in Canada, I believe. I still forgot to take this off. I was, I was supposed to take this off before flight. Oh well. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I probably shouldn't worry about it until I stop again. I love riding this, these country roads. Highway 21 is always a fun road, whether you're going north or south. Just a good road to ride on. People a little crazy, so you gotta watch out, you know. There's a sign up here, right up on the left. We're, we're coming up on it. I remember when I first moved back to Missouri and I started riding south of Fenton. I moved to Fenton at first and I lived in Fenton for about two years, I guess, before I moved down here to DeSoto. And I remember coming south on Highway 21 and seeing this sign right here. See, it says, caution, you are traveling Bloody Alley, one of the Missouri's deadliest highways. So, ride with caution, I guess, right? I gotta get some new B-roll uh, aerial shots flying flying by here by the water tower, Hillsboro Water Tower. Here's our local uh, dispensary, Hillsboro Dispensary. It's pretty cool just to be able to ride, you know, drive through and uh, get a joint on your way to wherever you're going. Of course, you don't want to be smoking and riding your motorcycle or flying a drone at the same time. Wow, look at the traffic. What time is it? Man, it's almost four o'clock. I should have did this trip yesterday. I may have to redo it, I don't know. It's not gonna get any sunnier because of the, the smoke in the upper atmosphere. Man, I can't believe this traffic. Holy moly. You'd think it was a funeral procession or something. Hey, there's a little sun. I can feel that on my back. Something's just digging into my ear. I, don't, I guess it's at at least it's staying on my ear, I guess, huh? I was having the worst problem getting this thing to stay, this microphone to stay on my ear. Now it's bugging the hell out of me. So yeah, I got five cameras going today on this ride. I got my front cam, the I call it the road cam. I got my facing cam right here that's shooting my ugly mug. I got uh, the Nala cam shooting Nala back there, and it's also recording all of my audio. And uh, so that's a real important camera. We want, we hope it keeps going. 
and uh, uh, I got another camera down here I haven't turned on yet to the left to the left of my left wheel well here I'm gonna turn that on here in a minute I'm gonna stop and turn that on get a little get a little angle from down there and uh, then I got the camera on my helmet that I haven't turned on I need to I need to go ahead I think I'll just stop here <coughs> at this station and go ahead and turn those other cameras on You doing okay, Nala? Huh? All right, I'm gonna unplug this for a second. Man, this, this thing's killing my ear. At least it's staying on. I guess I shouldn't complain. All right. Um, I think that camera is recording. Let's see if I can get this camera to go. Okay, that camera should be going. Now, where's your goggles? We gotta get you some new goggles now. Huh? These are really messed up. They're way too loose, that's for sure. Alright, let's try this. I think I fixed them. Daddy's just fixing everything today, huh? We gotta call and get you a hair appointment. You can't hardly even see. Yeah, those are tighter. There we go. Okay, you ready? Hey. All right, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna plug this microphone back up here. I can't believe it. I got five cameras actually going at one time. How remarkable is that? I hope my battery didn't go dead on me. I'm sitting there with my lights on. See, Nala is just chick magnets, you know? She just, she attracts the chicks. I'd hate to back up into somebody. Alrighty, we're on our way. I should go there to learn something. Intermediate school, Hillsborough R3. I'm going to have to do a new video out here um, flying the uh, high school. I got this thing that's just, it's just, oh man, it's just right in my, it's right in my skull. It's reminding me that that it's there. It really hurts. I hope you can. Oh, looks like they got a carnival coming to town. Check it out, Nala. 
Huh. Those look like some nice apartments there. No garages. I didn't know that I've been on this part of 21 actually. I usually I usually get off and get on on new highway. When I get home, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm hungry. Now that I'm out here riding around, seeing all these restaurants and stuff, reminds me I haven't eaten anything today. So, I'm trying to figure out why I can't get my drone to follow me on my motorcycle. It's really frustrating. Maybe because, maybe because my antenna was being blocked by the way I had it mounted. So I'll have to show you some pictures of how I got it mounted now. I just, I just threw some Velcro up on my uh, dash, on my fairing, and, and, and I got the controller set in there. You can probably see it there. So I think that's gonna work, and then I'll just run a, a cable from there to my phone if I'm on the motorcycle, and I'll have to try it again. But I can't get, I can get it to lock on, but I can't get it to stay locked on. It loses me. It's like ridiculous. It works fine uh, when I'm in the car or when I'm walking. You'll see today, I'm gonna do a little video. I'm gonna have the drone follow us around while we go for a walk around the bridge down here. So it works fine when you're walking, but not on a motorcycle. No. And I'm wondering if maybe it's because the fairing covers up so much my body. The thing is, there's only three modes. There's like walking mode, vehicle mode, and a boat mode. Go figure. It works fine for people that are riding motorcycles or mountain bikes up and down cliffs but it just doesn't work for me on the motorcycle. So again, maybe maybe I'm on to something, maybe it was the way I had it uh, connected, maybe my antenna was blocking some kind of signal and interfering or something, I have no idea. But it's really frustrating to have a road glide and, 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 and a Mavic 3 drone and expect it to do a little bit of uh, follow me, you know? I don't expect it to follow me going down the highway like right now at 60, but you know, it'd be nice to follow me going 25, right? Is that too much to ask? I can't even go around in circles in a parking lot. It doesn't seem to want to follow me. So we'll figure that one out. But today I think I've, uh, I think I've reached a, 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 a milestone or a millstone, however you say that word, because um, you know, like I said, the problem with with my vlogging has always been I haven't been doing much vlogging. I've just been riding, and I guess people are tired of just seeing me ride through the countryside. So let me explain that. You know, on my videos, most of my videos are just old school, long form rides. And, and people are like, why in the hell would you make a video that's an hour long? People don't want to watch an hour-long video. But you see, the thing is, I'm really not making them for for you. Although I would really enjoy the fact if you were entertained by my videos the way I make them. But I make them for myself so when I'm old and I can't ride anymore, I can sit back and look at these videos again in my old age. And, and uh, my intention has always been when I'm shooting a video on my motorcycle is for you to feel like you're on the bike. That's why, you know, I switch between the cameras. I take a lot of time. It takes me a lot of time to put these videos together. Especially these multicam, all of them are multicam videos. And I'm still editing on a little MacBook Pro and uh, it's not very powerful. I, you know, I've been editing Final Cut for years and I love the app. 
but I just I wish I had a stronger a, a bigger computer I've always had a Mac well since since I left Windows what's that guy doing since I left Windows back and I think it was 85 something like that 95 I don't know anyway I haven't looked back I love Final Cut but it does take up a lot of resources uh, it, it takes it takes it takes a, a good hard drive a good raid hard drive and now I've really just recently started editing in, in proxies I know people out there are saying man you haven't been editing in proxies no because it just takes so much time to create the proxies and then it takes up so much space it's really not just space I don't guess it's just the time that it takes and the fact that unless it's changed you can't take those proxies that you've created and save them to another hard drive and bring them up later if you need them you know you you can't you can't reconnect them unless they've changed something you know what uh, I, I, I think I got busy talking and I may have missed my turn I probably should be watching my uh, map huh it's kind of odd for me to get busy talking and, and not pay attention to where I'm at I think I need to turn around Yeah, I gotta turn around. I went too far. Went too far. Got busy yapping. Which is good, I guess, because that's what vlogging is all about, right? Uh, oh, shit. I guess this is as good of a place to turn around as any. All right, we're back on track. How are you doing okay back there? I'm glad I got your goggles fixed. They were falling off. They were so loose. I don't know which... The camera I got down on my wheel well is that 360 camera, but I'm not shooting 360 today. It just takes up way too much resources. You know, it was cool at first. It was a cool thing to have, the 360 thing, you know. But um, the way I edit, multi-cam, just too much work okay I need a turn here that's where I missed my turn can't believe I was so busy yapping Goldman Spur, Spur Road a lot of loose gravel here huh look at that old limousine jeez I can't believe I still got five cameras running. That's remarkable. And I got a microphone that's working. I'm pumped. Okay, I gotta turn right up here on Old Lee May Ferry Road. I think I'm gonna stop here and change the direction of that camera my wheel well because I don't know which camera is bad I got one I don't know which direction is bad but I can flip it if I could get this thing in neutral there we go man this is a big bike you don't want to lay it down out here in the middle of nowhere by yourself because there's not anybody here to help you, right? I gotta unplug this camera for a second. What do you know, this camera's still on. I guess I have to figure that out later. Let's get back to what we were doing.
I'm good. Alrighty. I remember when I came this way before, when I came here before I got lost. I had to stop. I stopped here at this um, fire station, I think, and asked them where the Sandy Creek Bridge was at. They said that way. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's, it's kind of weird, you know. Oh, man, that, look at that house. They need to... That's some cool old houses there. How you doing? That looked like uh, Keith Eldridge. Huh. Could have been. So here we are. Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. Now I can't wait. So yeah, I think maybe I, I, I can just start going to some places, you know, closer to home. I don't have to go to the Ozarks every time to some fantastic place to, to, to fly. I can just go close by. This would be a pretty... This would be a pretty video here. I remember being here before. It was nice, but I got a much better drone now. Nobody here. Well, there's a couple people here. How you doing? Okay, well, no, you ready to get off? Oh, I'm ready to get this helmet off. It's hot. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll take them off. There we go. Let's put them in here so we don't lose them. I hope I brought your leash. Yeah. This is pretty out here, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I guess I can turn off this camera. I haven't used this camera in a long time either. It looks like the lens might be cracked. It's over here. The lens is cracked. Huh. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna shut this one off and charge it while we're here. I guess I can shut that one off. It'd be nice to figure out how to turn it around. All right. Is Nala's cam still on? Nala.